there's a reason they call me the big dog. <laughs> <laughs> right, so it's just a bit of a random one today, this YouTube video for you all. Um, so all this content was supposed to be going to Country File. I uh, recorded it for Country File because I've got a monthly segment on there. But because my older sister recorded it for me, they're not allowed to use it because it's classed as her content. So I just didn't want to waste the footage, so I thought I'd chuck it in a YouTube video for you. So give it a watch. And then let me know in the comments or go onto my Instagram and let me know if you want to see more of it or if you hated it. Just let me know because I can do more YouTube videos for you. But I'm not going to do them if you don't want to watch them. Does that make sense? Uh, I hope you enjoy it. Let's get straight to it. Back again um, here in the lovely weather of Wales. It's raining, um, but it's my natural habitat. I love it. Um, today we're going to do a day in the life. So you're going to see what I get up to throughout the day. Um, I've got some sheep in the shed. They need feeding. Cows in the shed. They need feeding. What else? Um, oh, sheep outside. They need feeding. Oh, muck belts. It's Tuesday. I need to do muck belts. Um, and then I've got to drink about seven cups of tea, I think. I think that's on the quota. But yeah, that's it. We'll get to it because the sheep are going to get annoyed that I'm not feeding them just yet. Let's go! Right, uh, first rule is you always feed the cows food first because they're noisier than sheep and I can put up with the sheep noise, not the cow's noise. <coughs> Calves and cows on a bit of extra concentrate because they're indoors uh, and they need a boost. Cows are in calves. Uh, cows are in calves. Cows are in calf and these are getting ready to sell. Thumbs up? Thumbs up. Right, so in here we've got the early llamas. <coughs> early llamas? Early llamas. Um, so I'm trying to get out of this flock. I'm changing flocks to a uh, hill breed. So I've cut right down. I've gone from 350 early llamas to uh, 200. So I'm doing a real good job of cutting down, actually. Uh, <coughs> so they start lambing in about a month. So that's why they're in the shed. And then the outdoor flock, uh, we're going to go and feed them now. They need feed blocks um, to keep them going. They don't start lambing for another six weeks. So six weeks they'll be lambing, but they're all outdoors. So we'll go feed everything outside. And then these bad boys need straw. They need a bail. And that is all I have to say on that. So, um, obviously the main farm is at home in the village. Uh, I've got another holding uh, five miles away, which I call the hill. 
Uh, it's where the chicken shed is and um, three quarters of the outside llamas are. So I spend a lot of my time driving from one place to another just to make sure everything's okay. Uh, so I've got feed blocks in the back. These will get um, the feed blocks just to keep their vitamin levels up and give them that extra boost uh, pre-lambing. Uh, what the hell was that? Oh no. <laughs> feed blocks. <laughs> oh, I hope not. Um, yeah, so uh, we'll uh, shoot up and uh, do that now. And hopefully the rain will hold off. <laughs> Right, so we've just got up here to uh, the other farm. <clears throat> the hen house is here. Uh, the sheep are here. But there's a rock of sheep on my neighbor's uh, field and they're really close. Obviously, I haven't got a dog with me, so I'm thinking maybe I can do it by leg or on foot. Maybe I can be the dog. Um, maybe I'm gonna try that. I'm. <laughs> I'm going to try it, and if not, I'm going to have to go and get the dog. Okay. Oh, thumbs up. Yeah, the sheep are there. They're not supposed to be there, so I haven't got a dog. Um, let's see what happens. Maybe... Hmm. Maybe I'll do a point of view. I'll hold the phone and I'll run, so you can see what it's like to be a dog. Yeah! <laughs> let's go! Right, good job I put shorts on today. So they're over there. They know what they're doing. Right. I'm just gonna run down the valley. Down the valley. Oh. Oh. I thought. I'd be clever and just get the sheep quickly without the dog. What a mistake that was. How do dogs do it, man? No idea where they've gone either. The joys of farming, baby. They're there. So. That's my land there. Here's my hen house. This is my neighbour's land and his hill. And there's my sheep. And they know what they're doing. They know they're not supposed to be here. Wobbly and then I've got to cross the cavern of doom. <sighs> right. Without hitting the deck hopefully. I should have got one of them. Been a landslide, yeah. Should have got one of them gyroscopy things to make it stable. Right, let's just gotta go down. <laughs> Skills! Did not sign up for this today. I've got them here in the holding pen, half of them there, half of them there, because obviously they're not going to stay together because they are the naughty sheep. Um, so just got to run them on the road and over the cattle grid. And they are out of here. Go, go, go. They don't even care. Yee-hoo. Look, they know where they're going. They've done it so many times. You are naughty. Great success. Yeah, they are 300 bar shoes, so these are the uh, later lammers that will be lambing in six weeks. Uh, so what we're doing is just giving them a booster box. Yeah. Every farmer's um, first thing to do is have a knife in their pockets, but I am not a very good farmer, so I don't have a knife. So, you use your teeth. <laughs>
Hi, I'm Jorn Humphreys and there's a 30% chance it's already raining. Sheep at home fed, now they need straw. The sheep up on this hill have had their feed blocks, they had silage yesterday. Um, I've got another 200 sheep on another hill, but I'm not going to record that because it's wet and I'm fed up of wiping my phone screen and camera. Uh, so I'll shoot off and do that. Uh, and then we'll jump in the tractor and put some straw down for the sheep in the shed. <laughs> That's how professionals do it. Bet you I'm gonna get a million comments on Twitter here. Yeah? What idiot putting square bale into a round feeder? All I got is square bales, okay? My worst pet peeve about spreading straw. <laughs> if you put leggings or trousers on, they wouldn't get down your wellies. I like the way shorts feel on my legs. <laughs> Back again. 
Um, just had dinner. Uh, what I had for dinner, a cup of tea and six million chocolate digestives. Just moving my truck out the way, then I'm gonna jump in the big tractor and go and empty the muck belts. It takes like an hour, hour and a half to do that. Um, it's quite a boring job. You've just gotta wait for the conveyor belts to go, but yeah, it's part of my day, so off I go. So I made it up here to the hen house. Um, I hooked onto the trailer under the conveyor belt. It's really rough. And my back windscreen wipers stopped working on the tractor. So that's really great. Um, so yeah, all it is is inside the shed. There are six uh, big manure belts uh, and they come to the top of the shed onto a conveyor that then dumps the muck into the back of the trailer. Um, it's a 140 meter long shed, so it's a long old, it takes a long time for the muck to come. You can hear the birds are a bit cross at me in here because it's so rough outside, they'd usually be outside, but they don't like the wind and rain, so they've come in the shed. Um, obviously I've taken my coat off and I've changed. Um, so all I do is turn each individual belt on here and that'll bring the manure up and clear the belts. So we do that, uh, make sure there's no issues, uh, and get on with it. I've come out of the bird area, I've given it a clean and everything. Uh, I'm in the office and I can see the uh, muck belt from here. So I'm doing what every farmer should be doing on a day like today, having a coffee. Mwah, ooh la la! Uh, as you can see, I'm back in the tractor. Um, it's windy as hell. Uh, Half the uh, trailer is full, so just the waiting game. Also, I got a coffee in a chicken mug, which is really hot still. <laughs> so I've just been and delivered the load of chicken muck to one of my neighbors uh, because they love it, improves the land, it's real good stuff. So now I've got to take the tractor and trailer back to the hen house. I leave the trailer up there and then back down to the farm and feed the cows again their evening feed. Yeah! So the young stock here, which um, I've separated and they're get, waiting to go, come of age to be sold. They've got enough silage for the night cows over the other side they've got enough it's just they're never happy um and that's it for the day a bit uh, of a random one me just dropping a youtube video out but all the content um that's in the youtube video was supposed to be sent to country file uh but unfortunately because my sister filmed it for me uh they can't use it because it's classed as her content so instead of wasting the footage i thought i'd just all oh, chuck it in a youtube video uh, and you could have a treat. So um, if you wouldn't mind, could you just either like comment on the YouTube video or go message me over on Instagram. If you want to see more, if you want me to carry on doing it, if you want more YouTube videos um, or not, don't mind either way, really. I can do some more or I can not do any more. It's, uh, it's whether you want to watch it. That's, that's the question. So yeah. Do that if you wouldn't mind. And there we go, ladies and gentlemen. That is the end of my YouTube video today. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. And let me know in the comments below if you want more.